The seven worst cereals you should never eat again. Are you someone that has trouble giving up cereal? If so, listen up. After this episode, you'll know exactly why I avoid it at all costs. Even so-called healthy cereal options can still wreak havoc on your gut and cause weight gain. Why is cereal bad? Well, let's start with the obvious. First of all, cereal is made from grains. And these grains are lectin bombs capable of destroying just about anyone's gut. Second, they're almost pure carbohydrates. And the more they have been processed into cereal, the more these have been turned into simple sugars that you will absorb instantly. They are pure sugar, folks. And believe it or not, even now, the FDA has finally agreed. Cereal is terrible for your health. The FDA finally employed new criteria for foods to meet, and the following of these so-called healthy cereals are not making the cut. Raisin Bran. Oh my gosh, Raisin Bran is now no longer FDA approved? Believe it or not, Raisin Bran has nine grams of added sugar in addition to the sugar that these things contain. There are four grams of sugar per teaspoon. So that Raisin Bran has over two additional teaspoons of sugar. And just think about putting that two teaspoons of sugar in your mouth every time you eat Raisin Bran. How about Honey Nut Cheerios? That's got to be good for you. Uh, it's got 12 grams of added sugar. That's three teaspoons per serving of additional sugar. Corn Flakes. Well, my gosh, that's the original health food. It has 300 milligrams of sodium and a teaspoon of added sugar. Well, how about honey bunches of oats and honey roasted? Two additional teaspoons of sugar. Frosted mini wheats, 12 grams of added sugar. Life cereal, I mean, life cereal, come on. Eight grams of added sugar. But what about Special K? 270 milligrams of sodium and four grams of added sugar. Whoa! And the FDA says now these are lethal, thank goodness, and they're still on your supermarket shelf. Now remember, cereal is a modern invention. It was invented as a way of getting sanitarium patients in Battle Creek, Michigan, that was run by the Kellogg's brothers, to have a healthy alternative to breaking their overnight fast. And these well-meaning individuals felt that um, whole grains were one of the best ways to get people to have health in their diet, but people wouldn't eat them. And so they devised a way to literally homogenize grains, corn or wheat, and add sugar to them and make flakes that were actually advertised as the world's first pre-digested food. And that pre-digestion process would make it easier for you to assimilate them. Now think about what that means. If it's pre-digested and easier to assimilate, they actually invented a food that would spike your blood sugar. And that's exactly what they, they did. If you repeat a saying that's false long enough and loud enough, it'll become the truth. And so marketing by these big cereal companies actually is what convinces us that cereal is the healthy way to start your day. In fact, shortly after the Kellogg's Corn Flake Company was established, Kellogg's made a deal with the United Fruit Company, maker of Chiquita Bananas, that they would put a coupon for a bunch of bananas in every box of Kellogg's Corn Flakes, and they paid doctors to tell you that the perfect way to start your day 
was a bowl of Kellogg's Corn Flakes with a sliced Chiquita banana on it. That's why to this day, you still think that you should start your day with a healthy bowl of cereal and a banana. This was paid for to convince you to do this. In fact, the famous special case study that was touted as a weight loss program, the people who actually ate special K gained more weight than the control group, but you didn't get to hear that in the commercials. Well, okay, many people believe that foods like oatmeal, muesli, or granola could be healthy alternatives to cereal. Not. There's nothing good in oatmeal. My oldest daughter is a horsewoman, and she assures me that the only purpose of oats is to fatten her horses for winter. And I assure you that the only purpose of oats is to fatten you for the winter. Sadly, most oatmeal, even the ones that say gluten-free, have a molecule that cross-reacts with gluten. And I see this all the time in my patients. Also, oats are one of the best ways to fatten us besides horses. Muesli. I got news for you. Muesli is mostly oats and often with dried fruit thrown in. Now, granola is also deceptively labeled as healthy food in stores. Unfortunately, granola is filled with grains, oats, cashews, and tons of sugar. And sadly, almost all granola sold in this country, even several of the organic varieties, are laced with Roundup, glyphosate. And so if you think having a healthy bowl of Roundup is what you want on the breakfast table, think again. Now, if you like granola, make your own. Kristen of lectinfreegourmet.com has a great green banana-based recipe that's easy to make and it'll give you what you're looking for without killing you. Now, are there alternatives? Well, just because I don't recommend eating breakfast doesn't mean you have to stop eating breakfast foods. Just eat them much later in the day and give your body time to fast. And if cereal is still your favorite, I've got some great alternatives. First of all, millet or sorghum tastes very similar to oatmeal, and it contains zero lectins. I've got a great millet porridge recipe in my Plant Paradox book. You have to check it out. Fonio, F-O-N-I-O, tastes like cream of wheat, and it's a little tiny millet that is loved in Africa. And if you love cream of wheat, and I did growing up, and you're looking for that texture and flavor, get yourself a bag of Fonio and try it out. Now, there are brands like Lovebird that have great alternatives to Cheerios. It's grain-free cereal with no refined sugar and made with nutrient-rich superfoods. And coconut flakes from Thrive Market are also a great and tasty cereal alternative. But there are other breakfast alternatives besides cereals. Sheep or goat yogurt is readily available in most stores now, but watch for ones that have added fruit or added flavorings like vanilla. Put your own flavorings in plain goat yogurt, plain sheep yogurt, and you'll be well ahead of the tip. How about cutting an avocado in half, putting a pasture-raised or omega-3 egg in each hole of that uh, avocado, put it under the broiler, pour some olive oil, salt and pepper, and it's a great breakfast alternative. Even hard boiling a few pasture-raised or omega-3 eggs is a great breakfast alternative. Uh, coconut flour waffles, they're high in protein, fiber, and great fats. Uh, Gundry MD waffle or pancake mix is a great way to get these sorts of foods into your diet without 
harming your health. You can actually top these with peeled almond butter or pistachio butter, or as another great source of protein and essential fats. So you don't have to give up the foods you love, but you want to eat foods that love you back. This next one is sure to surprise you. The last thing you want is a processed plant food that's made to look like a burger. 